In this video, we'll look at how to determine a plane's ground velocity. This question is right out of your textbook, page 149, question 6a. It describes a plane that's going 175 kilometers per hour and a direction of north 8 degrees east, and the wind is coming from a direction of north 80 degrees east at 40 kilometers per hour. Let's begin by drawing a diagram. And we'll start with the plane's vector, which is north 8 degrees east, something like this. And then the wind is coming from north 80 degrees east, so it's headed in this direction, from north 80 degrees east. So we'll draw it like that. And this whole thing in here is 80. Let's set up a parallelogram. So this is our velocity of the plane and we'll attach at the top the velocity of the wind and then we'll draw also the parallelogram at the bottom so here's the wind again and again the velocity of the plane and there's our parallelogram and so our final ground velocity or velocity with respect to the ground is in here we need to calculate some angles first. We know this whole angle is 80, which means it's 10 degrees right in here to the axis. That's helpful because if it's 10 degrees in here, it's 10 degrees right in here. And now we know this whole angle inside the parallelogram. It's 8 degrees in here, it's 90 all the way in this quadrant, and it's 10 degrees in here. So that whole angle from this wind velocity right to the plane velocity vector is going to be 10 plus 90 plus 108. So that whole angle in there is 108 degrees. And that's really useful because it tells us the other angle of this parallelogram is 72 degrees. They have to add to 180. Same thing up here, 72 degrees. Because the C pattern, another way to say it, the 72 plus 108 are supplementary. So we can redraw that. Let's look at the diagram. And here's that velocity with respect to the ground. And it's made up of that plane velocity vector and coming back the wind velocity vector. But we know those magnitudes. In fact, let's put that on the diagram here. We'll go to solve. So the wind velocity is 40 and the plane velocity is 175 and we know this angle up in here is 72 degrees since we have side side angle between or side angle side where that angles in between we can use cosine law to find <coughs> excuse me the magnitude of the velocity of the plane with respect to the ground that velocity squared equals the other two velocities magnitude squared minus 2 times them times the cosine of 72 degrees. So we'll get out the trusty calculator. We'll do that whole calculation at once. Here's the velocity with respect to ground's magnitude and that's still squared. It's 40 squared plus 175 squared minus 2 times 40 times 175 times the cosine of 72. And we get approximately sorry, 27,898.76208. And so to solve a square, we'll square root. I'm going to have to round again. So what's the square root of 27,898.76208? And we get approximately 167 the units are in kilometers per hour so the velocity with respect to ground at least its magnitude is 167 kilometers per hour now we just want to find this angle in the triangle and we'll use that to determine the plane's heading so this angle in the triangle we can use sine law the sine of at angle theta over the side across from it equals the sine of 72 divided by the side across from it, which in this case is 167. 
So theta is approximately, once again, use our calculator. I'm going to solve this all at once. I would times both sides by 40 and then inverse sine. So I'm going to do that all at once in my calculator. Inverse sine of 40 times sine 72 divided by 167. Close the bracket. And I get approximately 13 degrees. Now, we have the angle in the triangle, but remember, the angle of the plane's vector compared to the north axis here was 8 degrees, as in it's 13 degrees all the way across here, but 8 just between the plane's vector and straight north. In other words, the total angle to north would be 5 degrees west. How come? Again, it's 13 degrees all inside here, but there's 8 degrees here. It must mean there's 5 degrees in here. So this velocity with respect to ground vector is 5 degrees west of north. So we can conclude and say the plane, now let's say the plane's velocity and we'll give our two pieces of information. We know the velocity is magnitude is 167 kilometers per hour at a direction of north and five degrees. Oop, put that after the five. North, five degrees to the east. So we've solved a plane's ground velocity by setting up a diagram. We used our diagram to determine the angles we needed. Those angles let us use cosine law to determine the magnitude. And then we solved for the missing angle inside our triangle and related it back to our diagram to figure out what the heading was with respect to north. And in the end, we have two things, the magnitude of the plane's velocity and its direction.